one of my students asked me how you can create a dashboard that can display both the top and bottom three of a certain product at the same exact time. This student struggled because when they were clicking around a map that was using action filters, the top and bottom three weren't actually being reflected properly. So let's build this dashboard so we can visualize the behavior the Tableau has out of the box and the tiny tweak we need to make in order to visualize both the top and bottom of something at the same time when they're both on a single dashboard. So let's start off by visualizing our state and the given sales values for each state. We'll just make this a filled map. We'll call this map. And next we'll create the top three products. So we'll take our product, add our product name, and then their associated sales. And we want to filter the product name to only show the top three based on the sales. And now we'll just duplicate this and we'll call this bottom three prod for products. Tweaking our filter to reflect the bottom three based on our sales. Okay, so if we quickly spin up a dashboard, we'll add our map, we'll add our top three products and our bottom three products. We'll move the charts right here at the bottom so you can see them side by side. I'll make our map a little bit bigger here. Okay, so currently we're seeing the top three products overall and the bottom three products overall. If we apply an action filter here, and we click on, for example, New York, we could see that we're not even showing the bottom three products at all. This filter is not working because we have two conflicting filters on the same dashboard driven by this action. And you see, as you click around different states, the result changes. So right now we're back to the overall view. So let's drill into the bottom three products sheet. Go to sheet. And now we need to change our action to be a context filter. So add to context. We'll go back to our dashboard and we'll do the same thing for our top three products sheet. Go to sheet. And again, making sure the action is set to be a context filter. So now that we're back on our dashboard, if we click on New York, we can now see the bottom three products and the top three products. And now it's state specific. We're not getting that issue where either one or the other showed or nothing showed. We are actually seeing the top and bottom three. And we should probably sort these values too. So it makes a little bit more sense. Right now it's just being sorted alphabetically. So if we click on this little drop down here, you see the sort has worked right here. However, once we start clicking around again, the sort gets a little skewed. See how the 1500 is right here in the middle? It's back to not being organized in, in the proper order. So if we go to our sheet and we right click on product name, choose sort, and we'll change that from alphabetic to field. And now it's going to be hard coded for that sheet. So no matter where you click, the sort will stick. And we'll do the same thing for the bottom three products. Sort. And this time we'll do an ascending sort based on the sales. All right, folks. So that's how you have um, a single dashboard with both the top and bottom of certain products or whatever you're analyzing. As you can see, the contextual filter adds a lot of value in keeping things in context versus dropping them off. And in the order of operations, the context filter comes first. And that's why we had to manually set that context filter to be a level above the way the action filter would normally execute. And that's why it retains 
each of these states. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to teaching you more Tableau in the future. Thank you.